All right, first up by Ear Hustle is how Drake's plan backfired. I don't know what it's So the last time we saw out. Drake in the spotlight was when he released The Heart Part 6, firing back at Kendrick's record-breaking song, Not Like Us. But instead of defending his name, it felt like he was digging his own grave. Let's be honest, aside from it being the worst song from the whole feud, it was just screaming pathetic. Damn, worse. Imagine mentioning this, quote, if I was fucking young girls, I promise I'd have gotten arrested. I'm way too famous for this shit on a diss track. At this point, if he hasn't gotten the news yeah, yet, wrong, someone needs to inform him that the best thing he should do now is- Yeah, you're wrong, bro. What y'all think about that, man? Like, come on now. Let's, let's be realistic, bro. Let's be realistic. I wanna, I wanna hear the Drake stands in the, in the chat, in the comments, bro. I wanna hear some. You always be hiding about that, bro. Is to stay low, to so try creepy. to protect what remains of bro, his legacy, Drake, so he Come doesn't on, lose it dumb. all. <laughs> and just dumb. when it seemed like the whole beef was going down, Metro Boomin and his BBL Drizzy challenge further pushed Drake to the wall. And then, finally, Drake decided to make his grand entrance. But just like he has been doing since the whole beef started, he let his fans and the entire rap industry down again. Honestly, at this point, it's not even shocking anymore. After dropping again, the heart part tea. six, our man Drake has been playing it cool on social media, dropping hints that he's just living his best life and that he couldn't care less about the whole beef. I mean, just check out his Instagram story with the caption, good times, summer vibes up next. <laughs> if Kendrick was at home enjoying his victory, Metro Boomin wasn't. Metro Boomin was still out there on the front lines, firing shots at Drake on his social media accounts. He called Drake the colonizer of the hip hop industry, yeah, that's true. while attaching photos from Pusha T's The Story of Adidon artwork featuring Drizzy and Blackface. He also went on to jab Drake about pushing 40, having his nails painted, and more. <laughs> the legendary producer also claimed that Drake attempted to block Like That, the song that started the whole beef, from playing on the radio allegedly Damn. dropping leaked emails from label attorneys that had the entire internet buzzing. Talk about adding fuel to the fire. To make matters worse, Metro released a BBL Drizzy beat to SoundCloud, encouraged his fans to record their bars over it, and promised the winner a free beat from him. I mean, who wouldn't want a free beat from a three-time Grammy nominee? The challenge caught fire, with folks dropping- Well, if you haven't checked it out, bro, y'all need to go check them out. There's so many diss tracks. Some of them are actually really good, bro. I'm not gonna cap. Like, I've checked out a few, bro. Like, I'm not gonna check any out right now. Like, that was, like, you know. Uh, that's a little older news. Like, BBL Drizzy is a little older news, but still. Like, go check some out, bro. Some of them things are pretty pretty good, bro. Like, some people made some excellent diss tracks. Uh, that's amazing. But people are very creative. Let's just say that. But y'all need to go check them out, bro. Their There's freestyles left and right and dissing Drake. Right. This must have ruined Metro Drake's summer like vibes here. because... He went all out, ignored Kendrick, and went head on with Metro Boomin with a verse on Sexy Red's latest track titled You My Everything. Let's spare ourselves the agony of dissecting the whole song and focus on Drake for now. But this time it was different. He did not try to diss Metro Boomin with single memorable lines as he did on push ups when he said, Metro, shut your hoe ass up and make some drums. Instead, this time he decided to join the challenge and rap over the viral BBL Drizzy instrumental. He first responds to Rick Ross's to claims of him enhancing the way he looks, and then he talks about Metro and says that he has turned into one of the biggest memes and viral challenges this entire year with the viral beat. Then, Drake tried to defend himself by claiming he was changing girls' lives. Seriously, who saw that coming? But hold on, how does that even make sense? I guess this is him trying to divert the joke the on himself it into a W. So bad, what Drake bro. is trying to do is flip the nickname BBL Drizzy from mocking him for the way he has gotten cosmetic enhancements to, to, to portray himself as being the guy to help girls look the way they want. So basically Drake is saying, yes, I'm indeed the BBL God because I've likely spent millions of dollars getting various surgeries for various women. Oh my God. Imagine that trying to defend it. Drake's comeback and then playing this verse. This is just laughable for so many reasons, as this is not even anything profound and it didn't wreck the damage he probably thought it did. The song itself, aside from Drake's verse, was freaking terrible. It's embarrassing the music and it's a bizarre move from Drake. This track is a poor attempt to recover from the beef with Kendrick Lamar and Metro Boomin. Metro Boomin takes another W and Drake takes another L. The story could have been entirely different if he had thrown the beat nice back watch, in Metro's face. 
Drake's attempt to rebrand himself as the financier of BBLs is quite low. My boy, what the do you challenge mean? Metro started with the you. song has gone viral, with people rapping over it in many languages and mocking Drake, making him a laughing stock in the rap game. The stakes are lower in this beef with Metro Boomin compared to that with Kendrick, but his method of responding like he did to Kendrick on the Heart Part 6, and now with Metro by trying to explain the joke and detach himself from the label, looks so ridiculous. All it does is make him look worse, if not insane. This is something someone younger in the rap hey, industry should be song, doing. Though. Not someone like Drake, who has been in the industry for well over a decade. If Drake had just made a few comments without rapping over Metro's beat, people might have reacted differently. But instead of giving a solid reply, by rapping over Metro's beat and trying to redefine the title, he lets the response consume the entire moment. Overall, beyond the song itself, it shows us that Drake is still so caught up in this whole feud, despite him telling us otherwise. Let's not forget that one of the major reasons why Drake is in this situation yeah, now right. is because his disses toward Kendrick have been so dumb that they have backfired numerous times. By defending his name and now rapping over the BBL Drizzy beat, Drake shows he's out of touch with what people support, not excluding his fans. He's consistently miscalculated what listeners respond to and how to clap back at someone effectively. This is quite laughable for someone who has been bragging that he is the best rapper in the world with the best pen. Once upon a time in the rap industry, one thing Drake's rivals were always worried about until now was his ability to craft record-breaking songs even in the middle of a diss. For example, back in 2015, he famously destroyed the then highly respected Meek Mill in a rap battle. Drake took down the street savvy rapper known for his energetic performances on the mic by releasing Charged Up and then the hit record back to back within a week. Drake crushed any chance Meek had by hitting him in his most vulnerable spot. Meek tried to come back, but it didn't matter. Everything about back to back was perfectly strategized. Even the artwork for the song referencing Joe Carter's walk off home run in game six of the 93 World Series was well planned. It was even in the middle of the beef with Meek Mill that he released one of his top songs ever, Hotline Bling. Oh, and who could forget the Drake vs. Pusha T beef? Sure, Drake may have eventually taken the L, but he did ensure that he still served hot bars which made the whole beef very interesting. However, he's now drifting further away from what made him successful. This moment is the consequence of Drake's poor choices and his downfall into a self-obsessed parody. From hopping on a sexy red track to rapping over a beat made by his rival, he's turned into a one-man comedy show defending the mockery in the lamest way possible just weeks after being called out for similar behavior. Drake is a mess. What once had fans cheering now has them scratching their heads in confusion. Everything that happened with Kendrick, Future, Metro, and others is taking up more space in his head with each moment. Drake is doing Kendrick and Metro's jobs Wait, for them by bringing their bars to life and feeding into the very ideas and jokes that they created, which only gives them more validity. Instead of facing off with his rivals, he's fallen into the trap of turning a rap beef into a career-altering moment by fighting himself. From gaslighting and over-explaining on the Heart Part 6 to yeah. running around with the artists he got mocked for being with, Drake turns subliminals into moments where it's clear everyone's gathered around, popcorn in hand, laughing at him, not with him. This is so pathetic that Kendrick and Metro no longer need to respond. Drake is now battling the ideas they planted in his head and is now fighting with the ideas that they have put into his head, which despite his claims of being the chess master who can never be broken or outsmarted, have changed everything about Drake right now. At this point, I don't think there's a way for Drake to redeem himself and regain respect. The smart move would have been to hit pause, take a breather, and let the whole steam blow over, but instead, he keeps appearing on features, alluding to these feuds as if he's unaffected. Each reference turns into an over-the-top and corny- Only if he does after somebody else, though. Like, don't have Kendrick, he, he's cooked on Kendrick, but if he does after somebody else, it's a possibility he can be redeemed. I'm not sure who. But, and they will mention Kendrick and probably Pusha T again, but they probably will mention Pusha T again and Kendrick in the future beef, if he ever does have another one. But I feel like he'd redeem himself with, uh, with somebody. I feel like if he does toe-to-toe -to -toe with ASAP Rocky, I feel like he would win, bro. I'm not, I don't know, though. It, it depends on how, how ASAP Rocky, like, plays it, though. It really depends on that. Because he got Riri on his side. And that's, that's just more ammo for Drake to use, so I, I don't know. ...moment, adding fuel to an already burnt-out fire and making him look worse. 
If he doesn't hit the brakes and come up with a fresh game plan, Drake is going to stay trapped in this state of limbo where, no matter what he does, he cannot escape his failure. Additionally, I say this because I have a feeling this whole beef is not over yet. Even if the beef with Kendrick might be over, so the other mini beefs with other artists, especially Metro Boomin, is far from over, as long as they keep mentioning each other on newer tracks. So for now, fingers crossed, we'll just have to wait and see what happens next. But that's how Drake's plan backfired, but let me know what you guys think if uh you think his plan backfired or you think there's i feel like there's more still gonna happen i'm not sure uh who's gonna drop more because like kendra already has like a song loaded up kind of in the not like us video and he could potentially have more tracks so and then uh, i mean drake is you know he's i feel like he's being subliminal subliminal with the damn man in the mirror type you know like people have been seeing that floating around a little bit with the michael jackson references that he's been posting on the gram and shit so I'm expecting something from him. I hope it's actually good, too. I hope he's, he's done being corny. I hope he's actually ready to drop something, like some good music or something. But the tor the corny shit's funny. It's it's whatever. But damn, bro. Like, I'm, try I'm trying to hear some good music again, bro. But it's cool. We got a few, a few good tracks out of them, bro. So, like, it it's cool. I guess we, did we can wait a little bit. But that one's not bad.